I did radio for 26 years. Wow. Got out in 2009. Just I thought there was a lot more important things to do. And it's proven to be uh, I made the right choice. You're writing books? Well, I've, I've always written books, but the uh, I have a foundation, the Reagan Legacy Foundation. Uh, we support the USS Ronald Reagan the, and the kids that serve on the Reagan. We have a scholarship program. Uh, we have uh, things that we've done in Berlin uh, and also at Normandy. So we're doing things all over the world with the foundation honoring my father in those areas of the world where he had such a significant impact. What kind of uh, respect is there in France and in Europe for what the Americans came and did for them? I mean, did for us all, but, but in freeing Europe. Well, I, I, listen, I, I'm treated so well, whether it's in Germany or whether it's in France, it's really nice being a Reagan and going overseas uh, because he was so respected uh -huh. by people all over the world. I, I was in Russia a couple of years ago in Moscow and people coming up to me and found out who I was said thank you, who were very excited to say thank you to me because without Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev, they wouldn't be going anywhere. They'd be stuck right where they are now, in Moscow or wherever they are. R where they w were? Yeah, where they were. Uh -huh. Was it the SALT talks, the SALT agreement that, uh, that, that uh, changed things? When, uh well, there's a lot of things that really changed things, but it was really built out of respect uh, between the two. Ultimately, the Berlin Wall coming down. Uh, my foundation, we've been able to put a plaque in the ground at the Brandenburg Gate, commemorating my dad's speech that he gave on June 12, 1987. Uh, we just dedicated a Ronald Reagan Center uh, at Normandy, France, a year ago, a conference center. Uh, we produced a film we're going to be showing later. Uh, it's going to be on the Military Channel here shortly, uh, about a 50-minute film based on World War II. Because to be honest with you, most millennials today don't even know that we fought a World War II, or where it was fought, or why it was fought, or who won. Awful. I actually had, I played golf with a 28-year-old, and I told him I was going to France to raise the American flag at Normandy on a Sunday, the following Sunday, and he didn't know why there was an American cemetery at Normandy, France. And I thought, he is the normal, not the abnormal. 